Creating an Estimate An Aptura Mobile 2 training video The purpose of this training video is to provide users with the navigational procedures necessary to create an estimate using the Aptura Mobile 2 website. This training video is broken down into three segments. Creating the Estimate Estimate Form Summary and Practical Application Scenario. Upon completion of this training video, users should have a good working knowledge of how to perform this procedure using the Aptora Mobile 2 website. For additional information regarding Aptora Mobile 2, please visit our website where additional training videos are provided, or contact an Aptora sales representative and be sure to inquire about our other great products and services. Creating the Estimate To begin, log in to the Aptora Mobile 2 website. Upon login, users are directed to the dashboard. From the dashboard, select the Quick Add Data View option. Next, select the Add Estimates Data View option. After selecting the Add Estimates data view, users are directed to the Customer Search form page. Enter in a customer name or partial name, or simply select Inside the field, and select the Go or Enter button on your device or keypad to return a list of customer results. Choose a customer by selecting the Radio Dial button adjacent to a customer, and select the Next button found in the top right corner of the form to proceed to the estimate form. Upon selecting the next button, the user will be directed to the estimate form in Aptora Mobile 2 and the user will have created the estimate. Estimate Form Summary The estimate form in Aptora Mobile 2 can be broken down into five distinct data entry sections and includes four action icons given that a user has all relative security permissions. First, we will look at the five estimate data entry sections. The first, main information. This section of the estimate form is represented by the first set of fields displayed on the estimate form and does not feature a data view, section title, or header. When the form is in edit mode, a user with the appropriate security permissions has the ability to edit the estimate number, status, memo, and projected total. Additional info. The second data view, the additional info data view, consists of 11 fields and buttons that can be edited to reflect more information relative to the customer and estimate. Users have the ability to add and edit information found in this data view by entering data within a field or selecting a field button to choose a particular field option. Addresses The Addresses data view option displays two sections, Bill to Address and Work Address. Each section displays two buttons, which, upon selection, provide the user with the ability to choose between different addresses listed on the customer form in Total Office Manager. Details This data view allows the user to enter details regarding the estimate. Touch into the text field to begin entering information to the field. Touch another area on the form to escape or exit the text field and device keypad. Items The items data view can only be edited when the estimate form is not in edit mode. After entering in all the necessary information into the other data views found on this form, users will need to select the save button found in the top right corner of the form in order to begin adding items to the estimate. After saving the form, select the items data view option and then select the add items button. The next page to display will be the item search page. Enter in item search criteria into the field provided and select the Go or Enter button on your device or keypad 
to return a list of items based on search criteria. Choose the items to be added to the estimate by selecting the checkbox adjacent to the items to be added to the estimate, and then select the Add button found in the top right corner of the page. After selecting the Add button, the user is returned to the estimate form for further review, editing, or other action. Now let's look at the four estimate form action icons. At the top right of the estimate form, similar to other forms and features found in the AppTora Mobile 2 website, four action icons are displayed for users with all relative security permissions. From left to right, these icons are Customer Signature Email Print and Estimate Settings. The Customer Signature Action Icon. This icon allows a user to obtain a customer signature, typically upon their review of the estimate created for the work, service, or product they have inquired about in order that your company may have a definitive record of the customer's approval of the details and estimated total billing amount provided to them on the estimate entered by a company representative such as a salesperson, technician, foreman, manager, or other employee. Users can select the icon and have the customer use their finger to provide their signature in the field provided. The user will then enter the customer's printed name in the field provided by touching in the printed name field and using the device browser keypad. After obtaining the customer's signature, the user can select the Save button to save the signature and be returned to the estimate form. Users may also select the arrow icon in the upper left corner of the signature form to be returned to the estimate form in the event that the customer signature icon is selected and the user must return to the estimate form without obtaining or saving a customer's signature. The Email Action Icon This icon provides the user with the ability to email the estimate to a valid email recipient, as can be done using this icon from other forms in the AppTora Mobile 2 website. Upon selecting the icon, the user will see a message prompt requiring an email address or addresses to be entered and asking the user if the first email address entered should be saved as the default email address. A user will then need to enter an email address or addresses. Multiple email addresses should be separated by a comma or semicolon. Select the checkbox, if necessary, and select the send button to send the estimate to the recipient via email and be returned to the estimate form. The print action icon. This icon opens a new browser window which displays a preview of the estimate. Because the print icon function is not controlled by the AppTora Mobile 2 website and procedural functions may vary based on device, operating system, and browser, this function will not be covered in detail in this training video. In order to use this icon and feature, users will need to have a printer connected to their device. Please consult an IT professional for help with this topic and feature if you choose to use this feature. As you may notice, this video was made using Google Chrome as a browser. In order to escape the Preview Browser tab and be returned to the estimate form, simply select the X button on the Browser tab. The Estimate Settings Action Icon the Estimate Settings action icon presents the user with several options for display of the previewed or printed copy of the estimate form, similar to the Print Options form in Total Office Manager. Users can select this icon, edit the Estimate Settings, and select the Save button to save the Estimate Settings changes. Note that these settings apply only to the user logged in and are not global.
Practical Application Scenario. At this time, select the Home button or icon to be returned to the dashboard menu in order to begin the practical application scenario portion of this training video. Scenario Create an estimate for a customer Add or edit the department on the estimate. Enter estimate details. Add a few items to the estimate. Obtain a customer signature. Change the estimate status. Save the estimate. And then email the estimate to a valid recipient. Select the Home button to return to the Dashboard menu. This concludes the Creating an Estimate Aptora Mobile 2 training video. For more information about Aptora Mobile 2 or Aptora's other great products and services, please visit our website where additional training videos and information are provided, or contact an Aptora sales representative.